everyone. This picture of the trees I photographed in Singapore, I've been wanting to paint for a long time, but didn't really know how to go about it. So I think messing around with this black paper might be the way to go. I've done a colour chart to see which of my normal palette colours will show up and roughly what they look like on black. And also I've got these lovely metallic ones here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to get a credit card, just one of these, wet it, and then I'm gonna put some white paint on. Let's make sure there's quite a lot on there. And I'm gonna pull that through like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing there. And then because there's quite a lot of purple on that, I'm gonna get hold of my purple and just run it along the end so that that will come through like that. And I want that to go in a bit of a circle there. So that sort of comes down. And then a little bit like that. Sort of making the basic shapes to start with. And then do the same here. So just keep rubbing it on the end. A little bit there, but not too much. And there a little bit, and same here. And then we've got something here that I might as well put in because I think that will just balance it really nicely. And then we've got some blue at the bottom, and there's blue here. So let's get some more smaller card this time. I've chopped them up, and I'm going to get some blue metallic paint. Just a uh, metallic washer colour. Just run that along the edge and put that on like that. And there. Wow, this is better than I could have expected. happy with this. And a little bit of white. some white the other side too. circles here and I want to keep those circles very much circles and um, it's not something I've tried before but I'm all for experimenting so I'm going to get some of my white paint get it onto my brush and then I'm going to take it most of the way around the cut and then I'm going to go in with some metallic paint so um, let's go in with the mauve Not all of it, but sort of in places, and a little bit of blue. And maybe a little bit of the pink. Right, now I'm going to place the, I've left about an inch there. I'm going to try 
and place that here and then the top of the cap goes on there for a bit and just squeeze that on. Wow, that's worked. That's brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. And let's do the same and do that to that one. It's good when things work. I didn't, wasn't sure if it would or not. Do exactly the same. There. I will lose some of that out of there because that's not so long, but that just I think adds to the movement. I think I could do with a bigger circle there to fill up the paper more. I know it's not quite the size, so we use a bigger one and we'll do the same sort of thing. Just paint around the edges. In with some metallic paint. Okay, and now I do exactly the same. That's my bit where it's got to go there, and that's got to go there. So, and maybe, yeah, that's that's good. Now, we've also got a bit of a circle there, but not such a big one. So we could just paint some of it and not all of it. So let's just get a little bit of the purple and clean off some. And just press, I think I have to lift that slightly, press into that and then we'll try and finish that. Off. So those edges are coming on really, really nicely. I think now to get some of the sides of the tree in, and we'll do that with just a normal brush. A tiny bit of white, but not too much, just so that these edges show up a little bit. And... That give them the whiteness. I think the rest we're going to have quite sparkly. Okay. So, should we go for a green? A lime green, I think, would be, or gold green, is a really nice one. And. And of course it doesn't matter if we don't get all the colours exactly right because they change all the time. Oh, that's blue and pink, so let's go for some blue now. I made the blue nice and gungy. Still a bit more blue. There's quite a lot of light and sparkle going on there. Okay, nice and pink. sort of roughly putting things where they should be. Furriness all the way up there. And there's a bit of gold going on there too, so let's get some very sparkly gold. 
mess that up quite nicely. Bits of gold here. Gold is beautiful and sparkly. coming through there. Right, now I'm going to get some white, just ordinary gouache, and then let's get the halo through here. I don't have to do every single one though. And bring that out a bit more I think here. Just to make more of it. Yeah, I'm so pleased with how this is going. Soften that one a little bit. It doesn't need to be so hard. I'm going to use my card again. I'm taking some of that purple, run that along the edge, and there's one main one that sort of comes up through there. And then we've got these shapes that sort of like that. And take those away. Can add a little bit of white to the end as well, just to um, make it a little bit whiter. And they're quite random. And you can't see all of them, is really what I mean. So. Some are light than others, so you can take it actually out a little bit further, I think, just to fill up that paper. I am so, so pleased with... And then do the same down here. Just put some more I think I need a few darker bits in there, so I'm just going to get a very dark mode. We've got that white, so I think that will show up. So just go into our intense violet, and again, just put some of that onto the end of the card. Doesn't have to be every single one.
bit more on them. bit of that messing around here wouldn't hurt just to tie it up a little bit. That's so just the mauve. It sort of gives it a bit of like lights reflecting on it. shape coming down there of the tree I think that in the shadow down there yeah I'm very very happy with that I think a bit of red around here um, or gold let's put some gold I think we're done let's wash that purple off really well And gold anywhere else. And yeah, yeah, if I do any more, I'm probably going to wreck it, so we will leave it there. So, thank you for watching.